some of the sort of main component parts and um, see how that goes and then um, if uh, anybody's interested or perhaps even another time we can look at some of the other solo ideas um, talk about that later anyway so uh, to get started we're going to use this kind of uh, what Brian Setzer uses a, a lot in a lot of songs this like an E minor ninth or a typical E minor I use my f first and uh, third finger, our third, my third finger is on the F sharp on the D string and a uh, first finger on the B on the A string and um, we're just gonna slowly um, you know sort of reverse uh, strum through the, through the notes <laughs> um, at these next couple of chords uh, well, we're basically doing a G F sharp minor and then back to that E minor nine, but we're gonna play the the G with them, um, oh, with leaving the uh, high E and low E open, and the same with the kind of F sharp minor, uh, which probably makes it maybe I don't know F sharp minor seven or add four or F sharp minor chicken. I have no idea what this chord's called. Um, so from the uh, we have the we have the G. Kind of F sharp minor thingy to the E minor. E minor nine. And from here, um, you know, this is kind of based again around uh, E minor. Making a little bar over our E minor notes. Be careful. This A doesn't ring through, otherwise we're, we're going to get that sound. We really don't want that. So uh, play through the first three strings, uh, the low three strings. I'm going to play that fourth fret on the D. Bend it to the fifth. Down again. Back to the second. And the B note on the fourth fret of the G string. finger off, uh, sorry with our first finger off, put it on the first fret, pull it off and pick the second fret third string and uh, pick through the chord again Now we're going to have a 
few little pull-offs. Um, for me, these are pretty tricky. I don't like these. We're going to, uh, or at least how I do it, I um, start with my third finger on the fourth fret of the G. Have my other two fingers behind it ready and just pull, pull each one off. And our first finger will then slide to the first fret. <laughs> Similar thing again, uh, this time we're going to pull off 3, 2, 1, oh. Then 4th fret G string, open G. 4th fret D. 2nd D. on the G, bend up, bend up a, a half step, bring it back down, and now um, this little dipped phrase, it's it, it's really implying just uh, just a B, but we get to it by playing um, a, a C, and uh, we, we're only going to pick the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings, and dip those with the bar down half a step. So we're dipping from it from each note from a C into the B. Back to our E minor. So um crisp sound, you know, I've been playing a lot around here with and I'm quite light as well. So it really rings. Um so what do we just go then from the uh same as last time. I think on the second time round he does a, a dip. I find it easier to slide into this position than having to do some crazy shape down the bottom. Uh, so here, again, only using uh, the open A. Um, my second finger is on the sixth fret of the D string, and I'm making a little mini bar on the fifth fret of the third and second strings. Take my second finger off, replace that now with a bar over the fifth fret of the fourth, third, and second. Here I use my third to cover those fifth frets on the third and second again, and I use my first finger on the fourth fret of the D to um, to then this um, couple of B type things. Here I'm using uh, fifth string second fret, fourth string first fret, third string second fret. Second string, first fret. So then it's basically like B7. I'm not using my little finger, but uh, then I sometimes uh, end it with going to the fifth of the chord. Just swapping the B for the F sharp. chord again. Well, 
thing I will say, you know, in the chance that anybody's playing this and you don't have uh, a bar, all we're doing is, uh, like I say, for this, this dipped chord, we're, we're just taking the inside of a B here. And uh, you could just pull off from one fret above each of the notes from B. Different, but it's uh, it, it's got its own sound and it's it, it's okay.